Hey everybody, this is Sleepy here. I'm just doing a garden update video for you. Um, if you seen my Coke Man's video response for his seed giveaway, you had seen where we had planted our garden. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but here's a couple of hawks. One flew off and there's one still sitting there. But anyway, on my video response to him, we showed where we had planted our garden. Here's two rows of beans that are left. One row quit producing, so we pulled them up and we planted some okra. And uh, here's our okra here. So it's doing really good. There's what's left of the beans. Here's our tomato plants, and they're huge. I'm 5'6", and these plants are probably a foot taller than I am. Here's some of the green tomatoes. These are my beefsteak tomatoes. Here's my romas. These are romas on the outside here, and uh, we didn't cage these up. And they actually look like they may be doing a better production than the ones that are in the in the wire cages. So, you know, I don't know. We may not use these wire cages anymore because they were a lot of work. And if we can just do it by just putting them in the ground. These aromas here. And then here's these on the ground without cages. And they're producing. I'm going to take you around and show us our show you our squash. I've already picked uh, quite a bit of the squash, the summer squash, the zucchinis just now developing. I made a squash relish with a yellow summer squash to put it up to eat with our beans. And I'm going to make a video showing how I make uh, this squash relish. This stuff is good. So I'm going to bring you back here to the back. These are our squash plants. Here's some potatoes that we've put in some buckets, but this is our yellow crookneck squash. Pull this back where you can see that. It's not ready to pick yet, but it's getting there. We've got cucumbers here in the center. I bought some collards at the store, and when I bought them, they still had the the stem on them they weren't the leaves they were the whole thing and after I took the leaves off I um, we had planted them and I wanted to see what they do well here's the collard plant I want to see if it'll go ahead and go to seed and we can get seed off of it but here's our cucumbers and they're doing pretty nicely now We've got some blooms on them. Uh, see if I can find a small cucumber. There's not a lot of cucumbers yet. So, here's our zucchini. These things I didn't think were going to grow at all because they weren't doing anything. And then all at once we got some rain and they just exploded. Here's my cucumbers. I want to show you the problem we're having with the cucumbers. If you look at this, something has eaten, and I think it's a deer. And I don't know what we can do about that because we've got cucumbers on each side of this fence here. And it has eaten on this side all the way up to where the squash is at. 
Um, if anybody has any recommendations how we can keep the deer out of our garden, I would love to know it because they're eating my cucumbers up. But anyway, this was just an update on how our garden's going. I'll bring you around here and show you the chickens. I may run out of time. But I know you. I had a video up here showing uh, our new chickens, which were the black stars. And then we've got our bards. So here's our bard rocks. Right here. We're averaging about eight eggs a day from these bards and we've got 13 hens and I said earlier I wasn't so happy with them but if you look over on the other side that's our black stars we have 26 hens there we're getting 24 eggs a day you know I can't ask for any better than that and we're gonna order some more chicks for the fall we're gonna go with those black stars again they're healthy, sturdy, and they really are the egg layers. So, this is just an update of what we're doing. Any comments is welcome. And if you know how I can keep the deer out of my garden without having to put an electric fence around it, I really appreciate it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.